fans, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be building another one-to-one -one scale train here, and we're going to be building this front runner commuter train. And we have an MP36 locomotive on the front here, and then we'll be learning how to do this Comet coach car, and followed by these Bombardier bi-level coach cars here. And finally, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to modify one into the cab car for the end of the train. So we'll start off with the locomotive. Come to where you want the front of the locomotive to be. Three polished flagstone stairs across the rails here. Then we need to get a dark oak slab on the upper hip box in the center in front of it. Then open a dark oak fence gate on either side of it. Then we're gonna swing around behind this here and do our wheels. We're gonna put a netherite in the middle, two polished deep slate slabs and a netherite. So it looks like that with the slabs on the upper hip box. Then two dark oak fence gates on either side like this. Then we need to get a hopper and we're gonna put a hopper on the side of all four wheels. Just like that. Then we're gonna come down on bottom and we're gonna crouch. And we're gonna put another two dark oak fence skates on the middle here. And we're gonna open these two. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. So two fence skates and then open open. Then we'll come behind this and we're going to skip one block backwards and put two rows of three sideways observers like that. Then we're going to skip a block backwards in the middle and we're going to do a line of seven polished black stone coming up the middle. Then we're going to put upside down stairs on the side of it here facing outward and a full row of seven upside down stairs on this side. Then come up here and put a mangrove side there. And do the same thing on this side, a mangrove side right here. Then we'll do the rear wheels. So right behind this, in the middle, we're putting netherite, two polished deep slate slabs, and then another netherite. Then two dark oak bed skates on the middles and hoppers on the wheels. Same thing over here. Then again, we'll crouch and put two more fence gates on and then open them. And then same thing over here, crouch, two more fence gates, and then open them. Then we're gonna come behind this and put three polished black stone across the back. Then a dark oak slab in the middle and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of it. Then we're gonna crouch again and put a wither skeleton skull on each of the hoppers. Same thing for these wheels. And then we'll do the other side. And one more corner to go here. With their skeleton skulls on these two hoppers here. Now come on top of the front with smooth quartz blocks here. And we're gonna make an L-shaped pattern right behind this slab, like this. Then behind it, we're gonna do two layers of black concrete and start dragging that all the way back. And we're gonna stop right here, right before this polished black stone block on the back. Then come back up front, and we're gonna put a blue concrete here and prismarine walls like that. Behind it, two blue shulker boxes, smooth quartz slab, and three blue concrete above it. On this side, we're gonna put red nether brick walls here and here, then a red concrete, two red shulker boxes, and then red concrete in a pattern like this. Now we'll come up here with stained glass panes, and we're gonna put a blue stained glass pane, a white one, and a red one, just like that. Then we're gonna take out a black glass block and we're going to put one here with a black stained glass pane on either side of it. Then behind this, 
two black concrete in the middle and a black glass on either side. Then on the outer edges of those, put a white stained glass pane on either side. Then a black stained glass pane behind it on each side. And finally a blue concrete on this side, red concrete on the other. Then on this side behind that, we're gonna do a column of three blue concrete coming up. Then two, then one. Then we're gonna come down to the rear end of the locomotive and on the opposite side of the train. And align with the back of this, we'll do a four by three of blue concrete. Then in front of it, a column of two, then one. Then we'll come up here where this red concrete is and we'll switch over to red concrete here. And right behind this, we're gonna do two columns of three red concrete. Then two on the top, one on the top. And we'll fill this gap in between here, three high with smooth quartz block. Then we're gonna come around to this side, smooth quartz on that top middle. Then over here at the back, we're gonna do two columns of three red concrete coming up. Then two on top, then one on top. And then same thing, we'll fill all the rest of this in, three high, with smooth quartz blocks here. Just like that. Then we're gonna take out netherite, and we'll fill this whole top middle in with netherite. And actually I've made a mistake here. We're gonna extend this red, this blue concrete back another block. Then a smooth quartz on the top here. And black concrete below it. So two black, smooth quartz. Then we're gonna turn this way and put an iron door on the back. Then we need to move the front of this back a block because of the mistake. So we're gonna come and change these three blocks to smooth quartz. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We're gonna change these three to smooth quartz. Sorry about that. Then we're gonna come on the top of the back here, on this side and we're gonna put smooth quartz in the middle. And then we're gonna grab netherite and change this smooth quartz to netherite. Then on the back, we're gonna do a warp stair, two deep slate tile, and a warped. On this side, we're gonna do red nether brick at each end, two deep slate tile stairs in the middle. Then right here, smooth quartz, two daylight sensors down in there. Then we're gonna come in front of it here and put daylight sensors in a pattern like that. Then six deep slate tile stairs here, six on this side. Then in front of these, we need a smooth quartz stair on either side here. So one here, one over here. Then we'll do two deep slate tile stairs on each side then a red nether brick on this side and a smooth quartz on this side. Smooth quartz here and here. And actually I miscalculated that. We're gonna take out this row on the front and add in another deep slate tile on either side. Then we'll do red nether brick here, smooth quartz here, smooth quartz block in the middle, daylight sensor on the center of that. Then here, we're gonna put two smokers with two deep slate tile stairs on either side. Then in front of that, we'll do three smooth quartz blocks up the center. Then we need iron trap door. We're gonna put one here, and then two polished black stone buttons up there. And then actually we're gonna change this block to a blast furnace. Then we're gonna put two outward facing red nether brick stairs here and a forward facing. On this side, 
We're gonna do two outward facing warp stairs and a forward facing one. Then on this very front, we need to put a smooth court slab right here. Then we're gonna grab iron bars, come down here, and we're gonna put two iron bars here and two here, because that's where the door will be. Come over here, we're gonna put two iron bars here and two iron bars right here. Now, come on the side right here, and we're gonna put a birch sign with the word front and another side with runner. And we'll hit both of those with blue dye and our glowing sack. Then we're gonna come to the other side and do the same thing. So right here, a sign with front and a sign with runner. And go ahead and put both of those with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then take a mangrove button, put one right here. Then we're gonna come over on this side and we're gonna put one right here on this side. Now come into a loom with a light gray banner and white dye, put a horizontal on top, and then make the bottom half blue. Then new banner, white dye, horizontal on top, bottom half white. And we'll come and place these. The one with the blue goes right here. And then we put this stripe one all the way across to this button. Then come over here, put the blue one here, and then the stripe one all the way across to the button. Then we're gonna put these banners in our inventory because we will need all of these banners later. So make sure you save them. Now we're gonna come back into a loom, this time with a black banner. Red dye, put a border on it, bottom half red. Then another one with blue dye, bottom half blue and a border. And these are for the doors. And we'll put the blue one right here and the red one on the other side. And then again, put these banners into your inventory. We will need them later. Then we can get rid of the black banner here and we'll just need the red and blue one and white dye. And we'll come back into a loom with a blue banner and the white dye and we'll do a diagonal and another one with the other diagonal. Then the same thing for red, a pair of diagonals. Then we're gonna come up and start placing these. We're gonna take this red one here and here. And then this blue one is gonna go up here, here and here. Then up here, a red one here and here. And then a blue one here and here. And then same thing, save all of these banners in your inventory because we will be using all of these later as well. Now come up front on the middle bottom, put a dark oak sign with the number 20. Hit it with orange dye and a glowing sack. Then one up here with 20 and one up here. And we'll hit those ones with white dye and a glowing sack. Then a pattern of glow item frames with frog lights like that. But if you don't like how these signs are floating here on the sides because it breaks up the sculpt on the front, you can just take these ones off and not have that detail if you want. Then we'll come down to the back, back here. Go ahead and put a glow item frame with a frog light up here for the rear headlight. And then we're gonna put a stone button on either side back there. And that completes the one-to-one -one scale MP36 locomotive build here. And now we'll do the Comet Coach car. So come back here, put a dark oak slab on for the coupler. Then three polished blackstone slabs coming sideways. Then in here, we'll open a dark oak fence gate on either side like this. Then in front of this, we'll do our first set of wheels here. So we're gonna do another right wheel on each rail with an end rod in between them. Then on the upper hip box, we need to get two polished deep slate slabs on the middle and two dark oak fence gates on either side of it. Then behind this, we're gonna do another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. 
Then we're going to put a Wither Skeleton Skull on the side of all four wheels. Then we need to get polished black stone slabs on the upper hitbox in the middle. And we'll do five of them coming back. Then two polished andesite slabs on this side. Then we'll do another five polished black stone slab in the middle. And on this side, four polished deep slate slabs. Then we'll do another three polished black stone in the middle and a polished deep slate on the side center like that. Then behind that, we're going to go back to polished black stone slab again. And we'll do another four and three polished deep slate slabs right here like this. Then on this side, we're going to put two polished andesite, skip one, four polished deep slate, skip one polished deep slate, skip one three polished deep slate. Then behind this, a set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then two polished deep slate slabs on the center on the upper hitbox with two dark oak fence gates on either side. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Behind this, three polished black stone slabs up here, a dark oak slab in the middle, and open a dark oak fence gate on either side back here. Now we'll go ahead and we'll come up to the front of this car and we're going to take out black concrete. And right behind this coupler, put two black concrete in the middle. And then we're going to drag it all the way down the middle, two blocks tall. And then right here, stop right before the coupler. Then we're going to come up to this end on this side. And we're going to put four blue concrete like this, then three, then two. Then we'll come down to this other end on the bottom and do four red concrete. Then in front of that, we're going to do a full line of smooth quartz all the way down to the other end. Then we're going to come to the back end on this other side and we'll do four blue concrete then three then two come to this end four red concrete here and then a full line of smooth quartz down to this other end then we'll come back to this end and we're going to put three red concrete skip one and a red concrete and then every other block, we're gonna put a smooth quartz all the way down to this end. Then we'll come over here on this end, three red concrete, skip one in a red, and then every other block, smooth quartz. Now we'll come through and put a black stained glass pane and all of these gaps for the windows. And then, of course, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Fill all these gaps with black stained glass panes for the windows here. Then up here on this end, we're going to bring six red concrete like this. And then smooth quartz on top down to the other end. And then we'll do the same thing here, six red concrete. And then smooth quartz on top, down to the other end. Then we'll go ahead and fill this whole top middle with smooth quartz. And then on the top middle, we'll do a full line of iron trap doors end to end. Then on the sides, we'll do a blue carpet on top of the blue, red carpet on top of the red, and fill the rest on each side with white carpet. And bring that down to this end. And 
then same thing. Red carpet on top of the red, blue carpet on top of the blue. Now take out a birch sign, come down right here, put a sign here, and we're gonna type the word authority, then a sign with transit, and then a sign with Utah. Then hit those with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna come up on the top, right here, We'll put another sign. This one will have the word runner and next to it a sign with front. And hit those with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then we don't have enough space on this car to use banners for the stripes. So to represent that, we're just gonna put full rows of stone buttons up here. And then same thing, a full row of stone buttons down here to represent the gray stripe. Repeat that process on the other side. So come down here with our birch sign again. And we'll put a sign with Utah, then transit, then authority. Hit those with blue dye and a glowing sack. Then come back up here with our sign, and a sign up here with runner, and a sign next to it with front. Then hit those with blue dye and a glowing sack. And then same thing, take stone buttons, and we'll do a full row of stone buttons on the top here, and a full row of stone buttons on this bottom. Now we're gonna come on this end, put two temporary blocks on the middle, close trap doors on the side, trap door on the top, trap doors on this side. Then take out your temporary blocks. We'll repeat it at the other end. So two temporary blocks, close trap doors on the side, one on top, trap doors on this side, take out the temporary blocks. Then we're gonna grab iron bars, and we're gonna put one here, and a warp button above it. Then one here, and a warp button above that. I just realized that's the wrong button. It needs to be a warp button. Then we repeat it on this side. Iron bar here with a button above it. And one more corner to go. One right here with a button above it. Now we need to make some more banners here. So we're going to come into a loom with a black banner and white dye. We're going to put a plus shape on it. Then a white border and the bottom half white. Then we're gonna repeat that two more times, except one in blue and one in red. Because these doors have two windows on them. And then we're gonna place these. This white one's gonna go in the end here between the trap doors. Then a blue one right here, a red one down here, a white one in this end, a uh, blue one right here, and a red one right here. Then, once again, save all of these banners in your inventory because we'll use them later. Then we're going to come in and grab a crimson button here. And we're going to put one on either side of the end down here. And then one on either side of the end down here. Then we need our banners from earlier, so come in your inventory and get these diagonal ones. And we'll put two blue ones like that. And then we'll come down here. And a red one right there. Come over here. Two blue ones like this, and down here, a red one right here. Then go ahead and put those banners right back in your inventory. And this completes the Comet car, and we'll move on to the Bombardier car. So we're going to come down back here and put on a dark oak slab for the Cutler. 
Then we need to get warped slabs out here. And we'll put three of them across here. Then in here, open a dark oak vents gate on either side of this coupler. Then in front of it, we're gonna do our first set of wheels. So another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then two rows of three polished deep slate slabs on the upper hitbox. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. And then put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Then come down behind this here. We need a polished deep slate slab on the upper hip box in the center. Then on this side of it, we're gonna grab a warp stair and we're gonna put an upside down stair facing into the wheel and then right in front of that on the side, a single blue concrete. Then in front of the blue concrete, we're gonna do 13 smooth quartz blocks coming back. And an upside down smooth quartz stair on the end, a polished deep slate slab here. Behind this is set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle, two rows of three polished deep slate slabs, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then behind this, we're gonna do three red nether brick slabs, a dark oak slab in the center, and open a dark oak fence gate on either side of it. And then actually, we need to change this one slab over here to a warped slab. And then come down to this end, and we need to change this one to a red nether brick slab. Then we'll come right in front of this wheel back here, a blue concrete, and then we'll bring smooth quartz down to this end, and on this very end gap, an upside down smooth quartz stair here. Now come right before this coupler, two black concrete in the middle, and we're gonna drag it too high all the way down to the other end. We'll stop at this end right before this coupler. Then on this end, we're gonna do red concrete right here, six of them. Then we do red, skip one red, skip two red. Put black stained glass panes in these gaps come to the opposite side at this end, same thing, six red concrete, then one, skip one, one, skip two, one, black stained glass panes in the gaps. Then we'll come over here, and we're basically going to do that same pattern but with blue, so six blue concrete, and then the same pattern of windows with black stained glass panes in them. Then here, put one blue concrete in this corner. Then we'll come down to the other end on this side, and we'll repeat the pattern with blue concrete here. And put black stained glass panes in these gaps. And then, I just realized we made a mistake here. There's a lot of trial and error on this car because the pattern's backwards on both sides and it was confusing me. So we need a warp stair. Change this blue concrete to an upside down warp stair. And then we're gonna knock out this right here and put two blue concrete right here. Now come down next to the blue concrete, two smooth quartz, and then we'll skip one till we have four windows and then fill it into the end. Repeat it on this side two smooth quartz, and then skip one every other block till we have four windows, and then down to the end. Then we'll go ahead and fill in this gap above the windows with smooth quartz, and we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Then we'll go ahead and come through and put black stained glass panes in all these windows on both sides. Then we'll come on top of this end here and start at the end and we'll do seven red concrete coming forward. Then 
gonna come over here and repeat it above this red, seven red concrete up here. Then we'll come down to the blue side and we'll put five blue here and then fill the rest of this with smooth quartz. Then come over here, five blue here, fill the rest of this with smooth quartz. And then we'll fill this whole top middle with smooth quartz. Just like that. Then on top of the end here, we'll do two rows of three white carpet up here. And actually, the pattern for this blue concrete is wrong. We need to fix this here. So we're going to come over here, change this to blue concrete, and change this one to blue concrete. So it looks like this. And of course, we're going to have to do the same thing for the blue section on the other side. So come over here. And we'll change this to blue concrete. And this one. Then we'll put two rows of three white carpet on the end of here. Then in front of it a three by three of smooth quartz slabs. And then three smooth quartz stairs facing this way. Come down here and a three by three of slabs up here. Then three smooth quartz stairs facing this way. And then in between here, we'll run a line of black concrete up the center. Then align with the window dividers below it and put a smooth quartz every other block for all the second layer of windows. And then just copy that pattern over to this side. And then we'll come back through and put a black stained glass pane in all these gaps for the windows. And same thing on this side here. Then right here, we're going to go to white carpet on top and put two rows of three here and two rows of three up here at this end. Then fill the rest of this roof up here, three wide, with smooth cord slabs and bring it down to the other end here. Just like that. Now come down between the cars here, put two blocks on this middle, close two trap doors on the side, one on top, and two here. Then we can come down to this end, two blocks on the middle, and same thing, close trap doors on the side, one on top, and on this side, and we'll take out the blocks on this one. Then we'll come in and get a crimson button here, We'll put a button on either side of the top here and on either side of the top here. Now we need to come into a loom with a black banner and white dye and we're going to put a border on, a plus shape, make the bottom half white, then go to blue dye and a horizontal on the bottom. And this banner is for the door next to the blue, so put one right here. Then we'll come over to this side and do the same thing and put one right here. Then we're going to have to come in and grab our banners from earlier here. So we're going to need all the banners I'm getting right now. also a sign. So we're going to come right here, put the white banner with the two black windows, one on the end in there, and then one at this end right here. Then we're going to come up here and we're going to put these stripe banners, five of them, then a sign with runner, and then a sign with front. Hit the signs with blue dye and a glow ink sack. And then we'll do stripe banners right here. Then a diagonal one here and here like that. Then we need this red diagonal one. 
and it looks like I've messed this up, so we're gonna have to edit this. So first thing first here, I have this door banner in the wrong place, so take out this white door banner and move it over one. Then we're gonna change this block to red concrete, take off this banner and change that block to red concrete. Now we have room for our diagonal stripe banners here. So we're gonna put one here and one here. And that is how it's supposed to look. We're also gonna change that one up there to a red concrete so it matches. Then we'll come over to this side on the red end. We gotta move this door banner over, change this to red concrete, and then these two. And then we can put three of these banners on, and then we're gonna take this stripe banner and put five of them, and then a sign with runner, a sign with brunt, hit those with blue dye and a glow ink sack, and then stripes down to here. And we still have an issue because the sides don't match. The window placement is off here from side to side. For some reason, this car was giving me a lot of trouble. Because the paint scheme doesn't really match my build for a one-to-one -one scale Bombardier car. So what we're gonna do now to make both sides be able to match is move all these windows on this side. So we'll take out this whole row and we'll come back here. We're gonna put a red concrete here so it matches and then smooth quartz every other block. Then refill the windows with black stained glass panes here Two white carpet up here, fix the white carpet up on this end, then we'll come over here and add another red diagonal banner there, so now both sides look the same. Then over on this side, we need a blue diagonal banner here and here. Sorry about all that. Now we need to come down on this end and put a wither skeleton skull on the sides of these wheels. And we already got that side come over here and get some on these wheels. And this completes the build for the Bombardier bi-level coach car here. So what we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build as many of these cars as you want on your train here. And now we're gonna learn how to modify the back one into the cab car. So we're gonna come down here and we're going to take off these trap doors and we're going to change this block in the corner to a black glass and this one to black glass. Then take off these buttons. Come down here, put an oak button on either side and one on the top middle. Then on the side of the top, a dark oak sign on each side with 110. Hit the signs with white dye and a glowing sack. Then come up here, take out these two, put a bell on this side, and open a fence gate for a horn. Then we're gonna put two blue banners on the side here, and two red banners on this side. And there we have it, folks. This completes the cab car here. So this completes our tutorial here for our one-to-one -one scale Utah Front Runner train. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there.